Hey, what's up, YouTubers? This is your Keem Redis Power here, taking time off from the reviewing station to discuss the brand new images for Voltron Legendary Defender Action Figure Series 2 by Playmates Toys. That's right, not too long after finally owning Series 1 action figures now, we've got our first glimpse from a toy convention from another YouTube person. I, I'm not going to discuss his name, but these are the photos that I've received from someone else. I'll keep your name anonymous as well, but thank you very much, gentlemen, for sending them this way. Anyway, I'm just here to spread the word. So, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about what I want to get out of the way first and foremost out of this two-part video. Yes, that's right, two-part, because I'm going to take time to discuss this one. Let's go ahead and talk about the five-inch action figures that haven't seen the spotlight just yet at the reviewing station here. So, yes, there is a five-inch line, if you hadn't noticed, going by my videos. But, uh, yeah, with that said... Um, it looks like we're getting some real action figures this time. Not just Voltron and one row beast, which was Mizak from Series 1, which was pretty good in its own way from the video reviews I've seen. I mean, I don't have this action figure, obviously, because I haven't reviewed him yet, and that should be the dead giveaway. But in time, I will take a look at some of these 5-inch action figures. And uh, anyway, so here are the 5 Paladins. That's right. Series 2 is going to have some real action figure goodies. So here we have Keith. Pidge, Hunk, Lance, and Shiro in their Paladin um, attire, which looks pretty good. The paint job on this is crisp and clean. Now, obviously, there's going to be a difference in the paint job from the final release with what is actually being revealed here in these uh, images, which is the painted prototypes from Playmates Toys. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that that's a common thing that's going to happen. The paint job's not going to be as good. It might be sloppy. Or it might be lackluster. But anyway, for what it is, we can come to expect that um, it is going to be uh, quite the difference. But for what it is right now, they do look good. So they look like they're going to have multiple points of articulation. I kind of do not agree with the hip joints. As, um, basically what they're doing is that very uncommon and very disappointing hip joint for these action figures like they do with some of their team and t action figures basically the uh allies and the villains will have this sort of hinge joint that uh the pin joint is diagonal within the sculpting of the torso of the body but the hinge joint will be revealing on the uh, front and the back of the legs instead of side to side like a modern everyday kind of action figure with leg articulation. I really don't like that joint. I never really did. As a matter of fact, when it comes to reviewing TMNT action figures, if they have that kind of joint, I've always complained about it. Go back and look at my videos. I mean, I think I've explained this pretty well that this is really much... Uh, the PMIA when it comes to Playmates Toys, but, uh, yeah, but, I mean, these do look good, they look like, like I said, multiple points of articulation, they look like they may even have, uh, removable helmets, don't hold me to that, uh, there could be a distinct possibility that the accessories that they come with here, their weapons and so on, may not be complete, I mean, there may be a chance we may actually get interchangeable heads which would be a nice alternative so it doesn't break up the sculpting if you know sometimes when you've got figures with a head sculpt that has to put on a helmet to complete the assembly there's a bit of a pro and con in between the design and the execution and it doesn't always come out right so hopefully that's the case or if not maybe just maybe this time they got it down right with these action figures but I guess only time will tell but for what they have to show off right now in these photos uh apparently we are getting the keys I say keys in quotation that basically activates all their upgraded capabilities for their lions which you know you've already seen the cartoon and you know what I'm talking about especially with the red lion and yes the Magna Beam that comes with the action figure from the Legendary series does take play in the final episode of Season 1. I was not expecting that at all from the time of the recording when I actually made the Legendary series video reviews for the reviewing station. But yeah, I, I mean, spoiler alert, but hey, you've had plenty of time to watch this cartoon as it is. But yeah, uh, yeah, they're coming with their keys that also forge into their uh, signature weapons that they use in the cartoon as well. Like Keith comes with his sword. Pidge has got, uh, 
Um, you know, I really can't remember what it's called. It's some kind of shock weapon. Uh, it's kind of dinky in all honesty. But uh, Lance has his blaster. Hunk has his whatever it's called. Uh, some BFG, which is pretty badass in the cartoon. And uh, Shiro looks like he's going to come with an, an alternative hand that's actually going to be uh, glowing, you know, like that uh, laser effect that it kind of has where it can slice through anything like an, um, like a knife to bread or something, you know, something like that as a fine example. So pretty cool stuff that's going on here. It's just those hip joints. I I, I don't know what to really say about it. If, if they actually have like a swivel cut to allow a little more range of play at the lower portion of the leg, then it, it really won't make a difference when it comes to these type of hip joints as you will still get the possibility to actually display these figures in any fashion you so choose. But without a swivel cut, then yeah, it's basically like human karai, kind of pointless. But... With that said, let's talk about uh, the other figures to come out of this series. So, there's Emperor Zarkon, which looks magnificent. Now, obviously, the paint job's going to be different. I suppose that he's going to be lackluster. Maybe his cape isn't going to be... Uh, if it is a two-sided cape, if there's like a difference in color from the front to the back, which, you know, can't be shown here, obviously, in these images... Uh, it might be lackluster. The inside of the cape may not be painted, or maybe it's the outside. I don't know. I don't know if the cape's actually a different color. I really didn't take a good look in the cartoon, but whatever. That could be a problem. Um, not so much of a big deal, but it also looks like maybe his knees joints might be hindered a bit. I think he's got uh, knee joints. I'm not so sure. The sculpting is not too good when it comes to revealing this and especially with these photos as they are typically a little bit of a blurry side to them so unfortunately I really can't tell between what's articulation and what's not I'm really hoping that those are actual knee joints underneath the sculpting of the upper portion of his legs so uh, we'll, I guess we'll see uh, over time but uh, hopefully, uh, Playmates Choice does not skip the beat with, uh, the articulation for the villains when it comes to comparing it to the allies, you know, or the, you know, our heroes, basically, the paladins. I'd love to see the same amount of articulative play with the villains when compared to the paladins. That would be very nice, but it doesn't look like that much of a case at all, considering that some of it does look like, uh is kind of stationary in some way. Maybe even the wrist joint. I don't think uh, Emperor Zarkon's going to have any wrist swivel. It'd be nice if he did, so we can hold his sword in a more dynamic pose, which the sword itself looks pretty good, but I seriously doubt it's going to be painted also. And the face sculpt on the action figure looks pretty good from what I can see out of these blurry pics, but still, nonetheless, there's more villains to add to your Voltron collection. Even if it is just one real villain, the other being a row beast that basically takes on Voltron and not the Paladin, so you know what I'm talking about. Speaking of row beast, here we have uh, that giant gecko that shoots out multiple lasers at Voltron in a few episodes before the season finale. Which was a really good episode, and I, it made me really sit on the edge of my seat wondering how in the world they were going to defeat this road beast. Because no matter what kind of attack they tried to forge, this monster always threw it back at them in multiple directions. There was no way to really defeat this thing. But still, nonetheless, uh, a really cool looking figure. A nice one to add to your road beast collection, and that makes two now instead of just one, which was my Zack. And uh, he does look a little good and not too convincing on the paint job considering, the, again, this is the prototype painted up. So there's going to be a change, unfortunately, and I really don't see Playmates Toys painting all those, uh, I guess you could say, eyes underneath the arms and wherever else it consists at the body of this thing. But nonetheless, it does look really good. And it looks like it has its fair play of articulation at the elbows and even the knees. So thank you very much, Playmates Toys, for not skipping that. I really do appreciate that when it comes to villains. Play it fair. That's the way I always see it. 
And speaking of which, um, still on the five inch talk, we've got one more figure to take a look at, and that is none other than another Voltron action figure in five inch form. Uh, doesn't look like this one's going to have a gimmick at all. Basically, this might be just one of those figures you pick up and play. So it looks like he's going to have multiple points of articulation at the shoulders, elbows, maybe even the wrists. Uh, looks like the hips are going to have a fair play of articulation. And there's actually, as you can see, obviously some knee joints to this thing. Anything below that, I'm not so sure because that's where the picture's cut off. There's no accessories that are being revealed in this uh, image, unfortunately. But this is the best one that I can find. Um... Not much else to really discuss at that point. Uh, doesn't look like he's got his wings applied. Uh, maybe they clip on, or maybe he doesn't have any wings, and in this action figure form, he's going to have a shield. Possibly. I'm not so sure. But uh, from what it looks like, uh, the hands look to be enclosed. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a hole to actually have Voltron wield his blazing sword against the Road Beast. There doesn't seem to be any grip whatsoever so I'm not so sure about that so don't hold that one to me it's there's a possibility that there could be an interchangeable right hand with the sword already sculpted on maybe that's a bit of a stretch but hey it's possible I don't know what's going on with this 5 inch Voltron action figure but I will say that it does look like his face is painted up Obviously being the prototype, but uh, there's also the distinct possibility that yeah Maybe we might finally have a five inch Voltron action figure from this series who finally has painted eyes and Whatever was underneath the eyes the blue design maybe at best I, I really don't think they're gonna go all out especially at this scale But for what it is it'd be nice if we do get a little bit of some face paint with this figure uh, which, unfortunately, we didn't get with the first two Voltron action figures in this scale, which definitely the gimmick killed those figures. But, hey, I'm only judging it by what I've seen. I don't actually have these figures in hand, so I really cannot judge them in all fairness. So I will have to save it for their own proper time in the spotlight at the reviewing station if I decide to buy those figures. Until then, I really can't complain about them. But... That's basically going to do it for this video. Uh, I'm going to save the next video for all the other stuff that was revealed out of Series 2. And there's some big things approaching. And I mean big things. So I'm going to leave a link to the guy's video down below in the description of this video. So you can check all this stuff out for yourself before... I even have a chance to upload the next video that explains all the goodies to come out of Series 2 besides what I've talked about here today, which is the 5-inch action figures. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. Questions, comments, leave it down below in the comment section of this video. Um, if you kind of agree with me with the hip articulation on the Paladin action figures and you really wish that... Uh, they would have gone with a standard version of hip articulation like they do with uh, some, not all, of their TMNT action figures. Then uh, drop it down below in the comment section of the video as well. I'd like to hear how many of you are truly reacting to that in such a bad way. Anyway, that's going to do it. So uh, this is your King Reddish Power signing off saying thank you very much for watching this. And I will see you whenever you see me.